yes. There, there is a bigger issue here and I want yes. to bring Shadan Farasat into this before I come to Mr. Ghosh, which is that Shadan just on the issue of law. Now, uh, what does the law say about arresting people for tweets that may be misleading? Uh, now, sh I mean, I'm, I'm just asking you as, as, as a lay person, would, would it not have to incite violence or something to actually warrant police action? See, it will depend on the sections that have been sought to be invoked. Uh, if the sections are uh, uh, invoked, which are below up to seven years or below punishable with uh, imprisonment of seven years or below, then uh, the uh, the rulings are that the police cannot straight away arrest. They have to send a notice under what is called Section 41A, ask the person if he does not cooperate, etc. Then uh, you can go ahead and arrest. Now, seemingly in this case, like uh, Shushmita ji said, if there is, let's assume there is a fabrication of this whatever Gujarat newspaper, right? Now, how does the police straight away know that it is Saket Gokhale who did this fabrication that when he lands in Jaipur, they are ready prepared. They should have sent him a notice. Listen, sir, this seems like, you know, you have retweeted or tweeted something which is a fabricated this thing. Where did you get it from? You come, please come to our police station at so and so date and so and so time and please explain to us. I could have, he would have written in writing on email. Okay, this is where I found it. This is what I... You have presumed in the manner in which that you reach Rajasthan, Jaipur, you are there at the airport in another state and the minute he lands and gets out of the airport, you arrest him. So the manner in which this has been exercised, I don't know what sections they will involve because for police is not too difficult. You I know, just to tell you, I just pulled those out for you, Shadan. There is sections 465, 469, 471, 501, <coughs> now 505, five years minimum imprisonment. I believe the first three sections relate to forgery. Yeah, so some of the forgery sections, some of them may be seven years or more. I, I will have to check that exactly. I can't off the, the back of my yeah. head see which of them are seven years or more. But it's not too difficult for police to put a section of seven years plus. If you really want to be vindictive, you can look at the IPC other sections and sections. So you can invoke a section and, you know, sort of try and overcome that seven year bar. But really speaking, the manner in which this has been conducted, let's assume there is a fabricated document. Even assuming that, to straight away go and pick him up from the airport shows that you had made a decision first as to who you want to target for that fabrication rather than making a genuine inquiry of how and why that fabrication happened. So